Hello and welcome to Explorations in Economic History and Thought, Socialism. In this first section, we'll talk about Marx and why we should be studying Marx in the first place, and the Soviet Union, the Soviet experiment with socialism, and how it relates to Marx. I'll give a brief overview about the course. We should keep in mind that we are always going to miss things. As historians and as economists, we're going to simplify things, but I think it's important to study, as economic historians, the experiment in any country with any type of system and to do our best to take lessons from even a simplified model of what that system was and how it differs from our own system and some of the pitfalls and things to be aware of as we do study it. When we ask why we should study Marx, one question that comes up is whether the Soviet Union was actually based on Marxist thought and whether, for example, if the same Marxist theories and foundation were to form the basis of the political system in, say, America, that the same outcome would occur. We'll talk about the difference between socialism and communism and what occurred in the Soviet Union and whether it could be classified as socialist under Marxist definition and what communism was and whether it ever occurred in the Soviet Union over the course of this semester.